what's going on guys, we're out here for an evening sit in southwestern Wisconsin, pretty nice day, around 48 degrees, sunny, northwest wind sets up pretty good for this blind, so I figured I'd hunt it tonight, uh, pressure's pretty high, uh, we're hunting a buck in here on about 40 acres, I had, I had him on camera last year, he's got really big brow tines and he's probably 19, 20 inches wide, um, I had multiple encounters with him last year, uh, around 100 yards, but I he's never close the distance, he was, always, he was during the rut, so he's chasing does, I, you know, but uh, he's back on camera this year, got a few pictures of him, but yeah, we got about three scrapes in this round, within 60 yards of us here, they all look like they've been worked pretty recently, so, hopefully whichever buck, there's also a couple other shooter bucks in here, but I mainly wanted to get this uh, big brow 10 buck, anyway, uh, yeah, so, and if we don't see him, I'm probably going to shoot a doe tonight for the meat. Getting low, we're pretty low on meat, so, yeah. So stay tuned, and hopefully we'll get, get some action here for you pretty soon. setting up a new spot for the rut here coming up in the next week here. Uh, we're brushing in a chair in the cedar tree. So um, we're after that, we're still after that wide buck. He's got really big brow tines, so we're still after him. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure I know he beds right down here about 100 yards away in the thick strip on the neighbor's land. Sorry for the wind in advance, it's really windy today. But, um, getting this spot set up for when the rut really heats up here but uh anyway i just thought i'd let you guys know what we're doing today trying to set up on this big uh this big eight pointer uh, he's got a split g2 on the one side too so probably a nine but really big brow times really wide and i'm just trying to do what i can to get set up to where i think i can have a chance at shooting him so uh, I think this spot will be good once the rut really starts kicking in here. Um, the only issue is, is uh, the access is a little bit iffy, but I think if I get here really early in the morning and sit back here all day, we should have a good chance of shooting one of these bucks in here, hopefully that wide one. But uh, yeah, so just stay tuned, I'll show you guys the setup once I get it done here. Alright guys, so pretty much done now, I got all my shooting lanes and everything opened up, um, I'll show you them now, so we got a nice little shooting lane right there, a couple nice ones right there, out there, a nice one right through there, a good one back through there in case one gets by or comes from there or something crazy, but yeah, otherwise, I'll show you guys the setup here. We got the chair up against the tree, we got the tripod for the camera. I gotta get some netting or something for the tripod. Cam up more. But yeah, she's looking good. Ready to get that wide, big brow buck. Alright, stay tuned for more.
just gonna see what we see tonight, and you never know, we might be able to fill our tag. Alright guys, stay tuned, I'll bring you some action. Hey, what's going on guys? We're back here on the 40 acre part of the land that I can hunt here in southwestern Wisconsin. Uh, we're going down into a um, spot that I've never hunted on this land before. Uh, a farmer told me he saw uh, like 15 deer and a pretty good sized buck eating down in his uh, green stuff that he's got coming up in his field. I think it's like rye grain or something, but uh, he told me I have permission to um, shoot anything on that side of the fence, so we kind of just opened up our horizons down there, but yeah, so we're getting here about an hour extra early, so we can get down in here and kind of set up a spot or something, try to sneak in, and so yeah. So we're gonna do that now. Uh, I'll you guys just stay tuned for whatever is to come. Okay. Ahead of myself, I got a shot. Full minute review after. Well, just made it back from the evening hunt. Uh, seen a few deer as expected. I figured in that cereal rye, see a few deer here and there. Saw like four does come out and started feeding in it. And then a couple smaller bucks came by and started chasing the does around in the cornfields. And then the does kind of headed off in the other direction. And um, then the bucks kind of just fed on some of the leftover corn stalks there around the edge of the field. but. Uh, for the most part, it was a successful night. It was pretty much just an observation set. I didn't get to do an um, interview when I got into my spot because there was deer behind me. But anyway, um, yeah, so observation set went well. Seen what we wanted to see. You know, the does are coming out and feeding in the rye grain or whatever it is. But uh, probably see some bigger bucks chasing some does down there eventually here uh, the ruts just now starting to heat up here in Wisconsin uh, it's not full bore yet but it'll be the bucks the smaller bucks are starting to chase so the bigger ones will be right behind them so thanks for coming along tonight guys and we'll be back at her in a couple days here got to work the next couple days so yeah all right thanks for watching guys hey what's up we're out here for an evening set in southwestern Wisconsin on my grandfather's land again tonight. Um, the rut's starting to kick in a little bit here. We were scouting last night from about 600 yards away and uh, we saw a, a three and a half year old eight pointer Jason bumping some does and then he got in a fight with a bug we call Goofy. He's got a nice seat, nice four point side on, this, uh, on his right side but he's just like a spike kind of thing on his other side. But anyway, so we, I think we, uh, we saw like five does and like four bucks last night down running around this area. So uh, we're sitting over a corn, a small cornfield that we planted in the spring that uh, turned out pretty nice. And then we got some, it didn't, we got some uh, clover and rye grain and stuff out farther, but it didn't turn out that great because it got flooded with all the flooding rains we got. So we're just sitting down here in this big bottom. We got a good southeast wind, so. Wind's blowing our scent to the pasture. No deer really come from there, so we should be good with that. But uh, we saw that three and a half year old eight pointer come out of the uh, CRB bedding. That, uh, I'm sorry, I thought I saw a deer. Um, it's like 15 acres of CRB bedding up to the northeast up here. That's where he come out last night, scent checking the bedding. So uh, if he comes out of there again, I think he'll come down coming towards us so we'll just have to see I think I'm gonna shoot him if he comes by I'm gonna have to see exactly but uh, we kind of try to shoot three and a half year olds on this land so all right uh, yeah so I better get settled in here get everything good and ready and wait for these bucks to come out and start bumping the does so stay tuned for some more action hey what's going on guys we're out here for another evening sit southwestern Wisconsin. Uh, it's been raining and pretty, and pretty windy all morning long. It's been pretty crappy basically. But uh, we just got in here about 3 o'clock. I figured 
Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, we're out here, it's 5.20 in the morning on that 40 acre part of land I can hunt um, southwestern Wisconsin. But uh, we're gonna go in after that wide big brow town buck again t this morning. Um, we are going into a, that cedar tree spot I set up uh, like a week and a half ago or something like that. But uh, I got a northwest wind, sets up good. Um, nice little breeze to get us back there. We got about a uh, close to a mile walk to get back there, so we gotta get hiking here. So, 
Uh, I'll let you guys know. Stay tuned, and so we'll see what we see once it gets light. All right. Well, as you guys saw in that last clip, uh, I had that big eight pointer come up to about 30 yards and I ended up shooting him. Well, I got ahead of myself and totally messed up and forgot to film an interview after the shot or the recovery. Well, as you can see, we ended up finding him. Uh, I made a perfect shot, double lung. Uh, he only ran about 100 yards and then we found him. Let's not even talk about that gosh darn cedar branch. I knew what shooting lane I was gonna have to shoot the deer through, so I had the camera all set up right on that spot. It was all perfect except for that one cedar branch. I couldn't move because the deer had me picked, but after I shot, I looked over at the camera and I noticed that the camera auto-focused on the one small cedar branch. But what you gonna do, those are the struggles of self-filming, I guess. So now I just wanna run through the planning of the hunt with you guys. So I set that cedar tree spot up about a week and a half ago, specifically for this morning. I knew that with the thick bedding cover down below that I just needed to wait for the right wind and I would have a good chance of catching a buck slipping along scent checking the bedding. I was watching the forecast waiting and waiting because I knew everything needed to be perfect to slip into the spot and the night before Halloween day I noticed that the northwest wind was forecasted for the next morning. So I got everything ready for the next morning. Uh, on my way in I bumped a couple deer but I knew I needed to stick to the plan anyway. So as you guys can see the plan worked perfectly. If you guys liked the video, you know, hit that subscribe button and that like button. You can't forget about the like button, but uh, also leave a comment down below about what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. Also, don't forget about that bell so you guys are notified when the next video is out. You can follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat to see what I'm doing on a daily basis. The links for them will be down in the description below. But that's it for me today, guys. Thank you guys for everything, and until next time.